Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. To your younger brothers and sisters who would want to take up engineering in the future. And to your relatives. That's one way you can keep me going inspired and refreshed. Now, if you find my videos interesting and important to your studies, also, please don't forget to subscribe. Hello, future engineers, subscribers, viewers, and students. There is another problem in calculus, Vita Math 82. I hope that you will enjoy watching, learn from the explanations and solutions, and hopefully it can help you improve your thinking skills or analytical skills. So the figure shows a circle with radius 1, 1 unit, inscribed in the parabola y equals x square. Find the center of the circle. So here is the given figure, and that's the circle colored yellow. The radius is 1. So if this is the center of the circle, we anticipate that the answer, because this is the origin, should be greater, slightly greater than 1. So this is expected at 0, x is 0, and y is... Uh, k is more than 1, slightly more than 1. So we note that this point is the point, common point of tangency between the parabola and the circle. So they should have the same slope at this point. And we will denote this with x comma y. So this is 0 comma k. The center is denoted by k. Uh, where k is the y coordinate of the centroid of the circle and h is 0, the x coordinate of the center of the circle. So this point is at x comma y. We will find that first. And the tangent is shown, which is common tangent for the parabola and for the circle. So we have to find the equation of the circle also. The parabola, no problem, it is already given. The equation of the circle with center at h comma k in general is x minus h quantity square plus y minus k quantity square equals radius square. And the idea is that comes from Pythagora theorem. So although you're not required to remember that but it's important however i'll derive the equation of the parabola based on pythagoras theorem and just form a right triangle here uh, later so first we have y equals x square and that's the slope dy dx so derivative of y with respect to x is 2x for the parabola so the slope of the tangent to the parabola is given by the expression 2x next Let's have for the circle. So this is the right triangle so that you don't worry anymore about the standard equation of a circle, which is, as I said, quantity x minus h square, where h is 0, plus quantity y minus k square equals radius square. And that is evident in this right triangle here. This is x minus 0, which is just x. This is y minus k if we have lower minus upper so it should also be the same if you have k minus y instead so this the vertical side of this blue right triangle is uh, in general y minus k this one this horizontal is x minus zero or in general x minus h then this is the radius, which is 1. So that's why x minus h quantity square plus y minus k quantity square equals r square. So in this problem, x square, x minus 0 square plus y minus k quantity square equals 1 square. This is from Pythagoras theorem. And actually, this is the equation, standard equation of a circle with center at h comma 0. So h happens, h comma k, h happens to be 0 in this problem. Simplifying, we have x square plus quantity y minus k square equals 1. 
So, obtaining the derivative so that we can derive also dy dx for the circle. So, 2x plus 2 quantity y minus k raised to 1 times derivative of y minus k, which is dy dx equals 0. Cancel out 2. So, this reduces to x plus y minus k times quantity y minus k times dy dx equals 0. So, from this equation, y minus k square is 1 minus x square. So, x plus y minus k times dy dx, which is 2x for the parabola, we substitute it here. Because the idea is the slope of the tangent is common for the parabola and for the circle, as mentioned earlier. Then we divide everything by x. 0 over x is still 0, so this becomes 1. Quantity y minus k times 2 equals 0. So y minus k, therefore, is negative 1 over 2. Or negative 1 half. So going back here, we substitute. So x square plus y minus k square or plus negative 1 half square. So y is k minus 1 half from this equation, but actually it's the same if we substitute y minus k here, which is negative 1 half. So x square equals k minus 1 half, and x square is, or k minus 1 half, which is x squared from this equation, then y minus k is negative 1 half. So negative 1 half plus negative 1 half quantity squared equals 1. So simplifying, k, is, k minus 1 half plus 1 fourth equals 1. 1 plus 1 half is 3 halves. 3 halves minus 1 fourth is 5 fourths. Or 1 plus 1 half is 1 and 1 half minus 1 fourth, so 1 and 1 fourth or 5 fourth. So k is 5 fourths. Therefore, the center is at 0, 5 fourths. So that's it for this video. I hope that you were able to understand the solution and the explanations. So this solution can still be made shorter if from here y minus k is negative 1 half, we substitute it here right away. Uh, by the way, x square is k minus 1 half, so it's the same. It's the same. So that's it.